A World of Curiosities is a short story by Louise Penny that tells the tale of a mysterious shop located in a small, quaint village. The story follows the protagonist, a young girl named Grace, as she explores the shop and discovers a world full of oddities and curiosities. The story begins with Grace wandering around the village on a lazy afternoon, looking for something to do. She stumbles upon the shop and decides to go in, curious about what it holds. The shop, owned by an old woman named Mrs. Quibbles, is filled with strange and unusual items, ranging from a two-headed snake to a jar filled with floating eyeballs. The author's use of vivid and descriptive language helps to create a rich and imaginative setting, transporting the reader into the world of the shop. For example, she describes the shop as having musty wooden shelves that groaned under the weight of their contents and odd-shaped objects that glinted in the dim light. These descriptions create a sense of mystery and intrigue, drawing the reader further into the story. As Grace explores the shop, she begins to uncover more about the strange items on display. She learns that the two-headed snake was once owned by a magician and that the floating eyeballs are actually the preserved eyes of long-dead animals. Each item in the shop has a story, and Mrs. Quibbles is happy to share them with Grace. The author's use of characterization is particularly effective in this story. Mrs. Quibbles is portrayed as a wise and eccentric old woman, with a wealth of knowledge about the oddities in her shop. Grace, on the other hand, is curious and eager to learn, but also a bit apprehensive about the strange objects on display. The contrast between the two characters creates a sense of tension and uncertainty that adds to the overall atmosphere of the story. As the story progresses, Grace begins to feel more comfortable in the shop, and her curiosity grows. She asks Mrs. Quibbles about a particularly odd-looking object, which turns out to be a unicorn horn. Mrs. Quibbles explains that unicorns are real and that their horns are believed to have magical properties. This revelation adds another layer of mystery and intrigue to the story. The theme of curiosity is at the heart of this story, as Grace's curiosity leads her into a world of strange and wondrous objects. The author suggests that curiosity can be both exciting and frightening, but ultimately it is a force for good, as it allows us to learn and grow. The story ends with Grace leaving the shop, but not before Mrs. Quibbles gives her a small jar filled with glittering dust. The dust, she explains, is fairy dust, and it has the power to grant wishes. This final twist adds a touch of whimsy and magic to the story, reinforcing the idea that the world is full of mysteries and wonders waiting to be discovered. In conclusion, A World of Curiosities is a charming and imaginative story that celebrates the power of curiosity and the wonders of the world. Through vivid descriptions and engaging characters, the author creates a rich and compelling world that readers will not soon forget. The story encourages us to embrace our curiosity and to explore the world around us, for there is always something new and exciting to discover.